Let me show you how you can connect from a WSL environment to your PostgreSQL instance that's currently running on your Windows machine. Now, the normal way that you would think would work is we have this connection string and we're connecting to localhost using a username and password. And my current instance is running on port 5433 as opposed to the default, which is 5432. So we would expect this to work. If we open up the terminal and we run our run command, instead of the connection working, we get a failed to connect to database dial TCP 127.0. 0.0.1 on that port connection refused. So why is this? Well, the WSL environment is running on a different network. So what we have to do is we need to connect to our Windows machine using an IP address. Unfortunately, that IP address is constantly changing every single time you restart the WSL environment. So if I were to restart my computer, I'd get a different IP address to connect to than when I would right now. To resolve this, we can use a special host name and that host name is called host.docker dot internal. Instead of using localhost, which resolves to 127.0.0.1, we're going to resolve this host docker internal using the WSL DNS, and it will give us the correct IP address to connect to our Windows machine. So just to show you the rest of this code, if there's an error, it will fail. If it's not an error, then it'll say that it's connected to the database. So let's go ahead and save this file and run it again. So look at that. After some time, we had a failed to connect to database, and then this is the correct IP address with the correct port, but it says connection timed out. And the reason for this is because we're connecting through the network, but our Windows machine is not allowing the connection through that port. So what we need to do is we need to open up our firewall and allow that inbound connection. To do that, let's hit the Windows key and then type in Windows Firewall with advanced security. Make sure you do with advanced security and then hit enter. Now our firewall pops up and we need to click on the inbound rules over here on the left-hand side. So to create an inbound rule, we need to right-click on inbound rules and select new rule. From here, since we're opening up a port, we need to select port from the firewall settings and then hit next. Now this is a TCP connection, so we leave it at TCP. And for the specific local ports, I'm going to put 5433, but if you're using the default PostgreSQL port, it's 5432, and then you hit next. Now we want to always allow this connection so that our requests can pass through and then hit next. This is where you can allow which network type that this rule applies to. I'm going to leave all of them selected, but if you're in an untrusted network, like a public network, you may want to unselect public so that it can't be accessed outside of your private or domain networks. And then we'll hit next again. Now we need to give it a name and I'm gonna call it Postgres WSL connection so that I'm reminded what what this inbound rule actually does. Next, we'll hit finish. Now, if we go back to our terminal and run that same command again, it connects automatically and we can see it says connected to database and it started my server. And that's how you can connect from a WSL environment to a PostgreSQL server that is running on your Windows machine.